Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi guys. This is BM025, Chapter 6 and we still in page 19. Now, let's see question C. Integration of tangent x dx. As we know, there is no direct formula to integrate tangent x. So, we need to rearrange it using identities. We will change tangent x with sin x over cos x times dx. So, from here, we will use the substitution method. Okay, the equation can be split into 1 over cos x times sin x times dx. So that you can see clearly which one you want to choose to be and u. For this question, usually we will choose the denominator as u. So this can be a tip for you when we have a fraction function like this. Okay. So, let u as cos x. So, we we differentiate u with the respect of x. So, differentiate cos x. We will get negative sin x. Rearrange it. du over negative 1. Sin x times dx. Okay. So, we can see sin x dx in question. So, start substituting integration of 1 over u times sin x dx as negative du. Okay, negative you can bring outside. So, we just left integration of 1 over u du. So, remember the formula for 1 over linear. So, we will get ln u plus c. Okay, next, don't forget to change back u in x term. So, we get negative ln cos x plus c. Absolute value symbol here. Uh, we use here to indicate that after ln, always positive number. That's all. Okay. How about question E? Okay, question E similar with question C, but there is a power of 3 here. We need to change it using identities. So, tangent cube x, we change into sine cube x over cos cube x dx okay which one we want to choose as u to be as u we cannot take cos cube x all of it later when we differentiate it it will get more complicated terms so we just take cos x as n u okay differentiate cos x with the respect of x we will get negative sin x we arrange it du over negative 1 is equals to sin x times dx ok so we start substituting but firstly here we only have sin x dx so we can split it sin squared x times sin x over cos cube x times dx. Okay, cos cube x same with cos x cube. Okay, then substitute in u form. Okay, here we remain as sine squared x for sine x dx here as du over negative 1 over okay, cos x is u cube. But there is still x term here. So what we want to do? For sine squared x, we can change it using basic identities. Cos squared x 
plus sine squared x equals to 1. Remember these identities? So sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x over u cube times du. Negative 1, I bring outside. Okay, so there is cos x here. We change cos x into u form times du. Okay, next step, we divide it into two terms. So, we will get 1 over u cube. And this one is minus u squared over u cube. Okay, times du. Okay, we can simplify it. Become u power of negative 3 and u squared over u cube will get 1 over u. u. Okay, so integrate u power of negative 3, we will get u power of negative 2 over negative 2 and integrate of 1 over u, we will get ln u. Plus C. Lastly, negative, negative here is positive. 1 over 2. So, power of negative 2, we can bring down. Substitute back u with cos x. Minus. Okay, negative, negative, positive. Long cos x plus C. Okay. So, this is the answer for E. Okay. So, I hope you can try for F. Okay. See you next time. Bye.